today's video actually is footage from several months ago that I recorded when I had to do a tie-in at one of our natural gas refilling stations. So here's a sample of what we're going to be working with in the upcoming videos here. This is one inch, I believe, Schedule 160 stainless steel with the corresponding socket welds in different forms. Most everything we do for these natural gas refilling stations are socket welds. And we'll try to do video in the future on socket welds specifically. Today's video is really honestly showing you some real world applications, some real world welding. Down in a ditch, not too fun, not very much room. This isn't necessarily the typical video that I wanted to put out, but I really feel that real world applications are probably more valuable, or at least they're very valuable to most people that are going to be watching these videos. I hope this helps you. It's a short video, short little series here. If you have any questions on this, again, always please let us know. Comment below the video. Let us know what you think about it. Let us know what you think. Would you be interested in some socket weld stainless high pressure uh, welding videos? I'd love to bring them to you if that's something that you would love to see. Let's get on with the video. So we've got to cut in and tie into two of these lines. We have absolutely no idea, they have absolutely no idea, which line is still live. One of these is live, one of them, two of them are dead. So they're bleeding out the pipe right now. This one right here in the middle is cold. These two are hot. Well, I'm not going to say that's going to guarantee. That's definitely one way to look, check it. If they bleed out 3,500 PSI of natural gas, makes this one cooler we're gonna go with that so one's gonna be we're tapping in is gonna be gas the other one's gonna be vent one of those two all right we all right we cut our first one Ta -da. can't see it too well out here and he's gonna blow a compressed air way way back over there to see if we caught the right one I like it so how do you get this to fit in there pull it up with the crane all it takes yes it will bend your pipe but we don't got much to work with and here it is here that's what I get the weld that'll be fun down inside of there and I kind of didn't get them super straight but it's four feet underground so it'll be all right so pro tip Underneath and on the back side are going to be my hardest spots. I like to do the hardest spots first. So I'll do underneath here, underneath here, on the back sides, on both sides, before I do the tops. That way it's done and over with. Be a welder, they said. It'll be fun, they said. As he's laying in a ditch covered in a tarp. And this was my view. Not the best view in the world, but it came out okay. These are the welds. Not the best, not the worst, but they held pressure tests. And here they are spraying some soapy water on there. Everything came out just fine. And this is the last time you'll ever see these welds.